Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today is going to be part three of my how to replace a uh, set of blades on a John Deere riding lawnmower or garden tractor. First video was how to take off the deck. Second video was how to replace the blades. And this third video is just going to show you the reverse steps of how to put the deck back on. So let's get to it. Okay, you have to excuse the yard mess. Our trees are letting go of all sorts of pollen and we need to wash off the driveway. But there's the deck upside down. Uh, pressure washed with new blades on it and I'm a simple guy I like to keep things simple here's the garden tractor and I when I took the uh, bolts and cotter pins off I laid them on a the pattern that they were on the tractor so you've got the two hangers right there and right there in the back with their washer and cotter pins in the middle you have two more cotter pins with their washers that's for the flat iron uh, the uh, flat iron bar and then we also have the uh, one in the front, the cotter pin and the washer in the front. And we also, the last thing, was uh, this cotter pin that held that little metal spring with the cable to the bottom of the deck. So first step now is to slide the deck back under into place and we'll do that. Probably weighs around 60 pounds. Taking on a tour of the deck again, just to show you. Okay, the deck, we power washed it off. It's not clean, we didn't wash it with a rag. But uh, the belt, good time to do a visual inspection. The belt looked good all over. And this is uh, the smallest lawn truck you can get. I've got the bigger one back there in the old antique modeling in the back. But uh, that one little spring clip will come in here and go right, whoops right into that hole in the center of the screen. Right there. That'll clip into place, and we're gonna slide the rest of this into place and uh, put these bars forward. Okay, everything looks good. Okay, again, the hanging points. Here, 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 and the front. Pushed it through a little bit so I could hang that spring on there. I'll show you what I did. Putting the spring back on, put that on for a uh, first. You can see under there. Hook it onto the black flat iron bar and then come over here and hook this through and now you're set on that. The next step I'm going to do is feed the belt through the hangers and onto the front pulley. Onto the hanger if I can get it on the pulley the guide make sure it's on everything else good all right this is where a couple two by fours may come in handy to lift up the deck so I'm going to position those now you're looking at the front of the deck and it's got that brass curved bar that we're going to fit into that hole with the black washer mark on it and I've got the washer and the cotter pin ready to go Handling, but not too bad. Washer and then this funky cotter pin. This is the one I had to use a wrench on or pliers before. Okay, front one's on. Got that on. Okay, the next step will be in the middle to put these black metal bars up onto these posts right here and then cotter them 
into place so they don't slide off. So I'll have to put the camera down and kind of manhandle that. But again, this bar goes up on there and you put that gold cotter pin back on. Okay. Almost. Oh, there we go. The bar is on, watch out for that cable. That's the cable guide that we can run through here. Put the uh, washer on. I'm gonna turn this cotter pin around. Okay, there it is in position. Go around the other side, do the same thing. Yeah, the right side's a little bit more challenging. Not bad though, but just you gotta deal with the chute. So we're putting that bar up. Okay, it's in place. Washer and cotter pin. Washer is on. Cotter pin. Okay, that's in place. And now the heavy lifter, those what I'm going to call hangers in the back. Had to fiddle with it for a second to try to get the best view for you. Here's the heavy lifter. It's going to hang on this metal, this black metal bar under the seat. And uh, this piece down here is going to go in this hole right here. But the best way to do it is to fit the hole in there first, turn it 90 degrees, and then lift it up and try to hang it on there. You hear me grunting a little bit, but it can be done. Uh, almost there. Almost there. Okay. Hopefully you can see what I did. I hung it on there and now we're just going to use our washer and cotter pin. Put it in place and repeat the steps on the other side. Take this off and give you a close up view. Okay, there's the metal bar. Cotter pin washer down to there. You can see the deck's high off the ground right now because I've got it set at four inches. We'll go repeat this on the other side. Okay, the deck is hung. We have one more clip to put on for that cable assembly. We'll do that and uh, start it up and try it out. All right, I've got one more clip to put on. This is the clip that holds that little cable on there so it doesn't pop off the top. That just fits over the top. Hopefully that'll be focused for you. I may have to put down the camera to get it under tight, but... Yeah, I'll have to put the camera down and put it under, but that's the last clip. So essentially it's only six clips, two in the back, Two in the middle, one in the front, and the cable clip, and you can drop the mower deck. Just had to set the camera down. Now that clip is in there holding that cable so it doesn't slide up. Seems to work okay. Okay, we're all set. The deck is back on. I'll do a quick test mode to make sure the blades are cutting nice and level. But that's what you do when you need to, direct, when you need to uh, change the blades on a John Deere riding tractor or riding mower. For me, the best way to do it is to drop the, uh, drop the entire deck, take that off. That was video one. Change the blades, clean up the deck, uh, video two, and put the uh, deck back on. Pretty simple, but if you've never seen it done before, it's always good to watch somebody else do it. As always, if you like my videos, subscribe, and thanks for watching.